guys, Tonboy601, and today I want to take a look at a game that I usually don't cover on this channel, that is Modern Warfare Remastered, you know, COD 4 redone in 1080p and all that jazz. Well, they recently added some new guns to the game, which they didn't originally have in COD 4, and they're kind of difficult to get, and I got one of them, so I decided I would do a review since I haven't seen any very good quality reviews done on on this weapon so let's go ahead and dive on in i'm of course talking about the xm lar now the xm lar is a pretty much a modernized variant of the fal was originally manufactured back in 1954 was predominantly the kind of uh battle rifle of the free world it mainly was chambered in 7.62 nato originally designed in 556 however at the last second uh the Na nato went hey we kind of actually want a battle rifle and uh frederick national decided oh let's let's just just change everything to 762 we'll, we'll we'll do it fuck it we'll do it and that's kind of what we got um this is a more modernized version of the weapon and as far as in the game goes it's pretty damn powerful now when talking about the stats of this gun we're going to be doing a lot of comparison to the ak-47 mainly because it shares the same damage model at least from all of my testing that i've been able to do um the the shots the shot at ranges changes at the exact same time that the ak does which tells me that it's doing the same amount of damage at those ranges as the ak therefore it has the same damage model as the ak-47 so Looking at those stats, our damage without stopping power is 40 up close and 30 at long range, which gives you a 3-4 to four shot kill. And when you do have stopping power equipped, you're going to be doing 56 up close and 42 at range, which is a 2-3 to three shot kill, which means this thing hits like a truck and puts people down. Two shots is a very quick time to kill. It puts this in the upper tiers of assault rifles, and there's some more reasons why this is actually going to be in those upper tiers, but we'll talk about that in a second. Now, with headshots, you're going to be doing about a 1.4 times multiplier, so you're not really going to need to go for them. Basically, what that means is if you have stopping power and you hit someone in the head, it's not going to drop that two-shot kill to a one-shot. It's not. If you're at range um, and you're in that weird butter zone where it changes from a two to three shot or a three to a four shot, that, that headshot is going to help you and bring that, that bullet, that one less bullet down. However, most of the time, it's not going to make the difference. I would just recommend shoot for the chest. And with this gun, the recoil will most likely do you some favors and give you that headshot a lot of the time. Now, as far as getting this weapon goes, um... Like I said, this game, this weapon was added into Modern Warfare Remastered through their depot system. If you are looking to construct it, it's going to cost you around 4k in scrap. Um, I was fortunate enough to get a good amount of the higher end drops, so it didn't cost me that much in scrap. I was just very lucky to be able to get this in the in the manner that I did without having to spend any money. But if you want this now and you don't got those those depot credits. You may have to shell out some money in order to get it. Now, the rate of fire of this weapon is around 680 rounds per minute. Compare that to the AKs, which is 700, which means you're going to be doing slightly less damage over time, but it really is minuscule. I'll go ahead and put up my test. You'll see just what that means. It basically means when the AKs finish dumping its mag, this has two shots left in its mag. So not much could make a difference in, in some firefights, but I really doubt it. Now, the major thing that this gun differs from for the AK is its recoil pattern. And this is actually pretty astonishing, and I'm kind of amazed just how much better this is, the XMLAR is, compared to the AK when it comes to recoil. Now, when you think of the AK, you think of horrible recoil. The visual recoil is terrible. It likes to bounce. It likes to spray. It likes to not be very accurate and those veterans of COD 4 know how to control it and they've become entombed with that weapon and they understand how to use that recoil to its advantage. Well, the XMLAR doesn't have that issue. It just doesn't. This gun doesn't like to pull left right. I'm going to show you a recoil test with this basically. I started the weapon in one place, just held the trigger down, didn't do any sort of compensation, and you can see where you can tell I did it three times on each. Well, you can tell I did it three times with the XMLAR, 
the AK side, which I did exactly the same distance apart, you can't tell that there's three different spray patterns there. It just looks like one kind of blob of fire, which means in a less skilled player's hand, this weapon is significantly better than the AK, which is kind of surprising and alarming because but now it's kind of entering towards that side of pay to win. The thing with Modern Warfare is it's a very quick time to kill game and the first assault rifle you unlock will put people down. If all else fails, you can just use that and there's never really going to probably be a gun that they add that will be better than the M16 because that thing is kind of acknowledged and universally known as being overpowered. So any weapon that they add won't be as powerful as that thing. However, this is getting kind of kind of odd just because they've added things that make this weapon better than its pretty much counterpart in the game. And that kind of scares me for the future of this game. One last stat I do want to talk about is its reload. It has an incredibly fast reload cancel speed of 1.28 seconds the original magazine you can reload cancel like as far as the animation goes you can reload cancel this weapon before the the dumped magazine is even out of the out of the weapon like it hasn't even completely fallen to the ground yet and you can start sprinting and have a full mag again it's kind of weird and kind of disgusting now if you wanted to go through the whole animation it will run you about 3.14 seconds on a long reload which once again pretty long you, you're, you're going to be reload canceling this gun a lot, uh, or at least you're going to try to get that rhythm down because that will make you the most effective with this gun. As far as attachments go for this weapon, I would recommend either the red dot sight or the suppressor. The red dot, unlike the AK, where you can't, if you use a red dot sight, it lowers your range out of some weird glitch that was left over from COD 4. If you use a red dot, it doesn't decrease your range and it is just as effective as it is. So if you want a red dot, run it. The other option I would say is run a silencer. The iron sights are very usable. I, I almost prefer these iron sights over the AKs. I've gotten used to the AKs over time because God 4 was my jam back in the day. And I just kind of learned to use those iron sights. But this has very clear iron sights and some of my favorite as a default assault rifle. And I could pretty much run them all day. So as far as like a class goes, um, if you are running a red dot sight, I recommend bandolier, stopping power, deep impact, or or steady aim. If you are running a silencer, you could either mirror that and just kind of stay off the radar when you are firing your weapon, or you could go for that full uh, UAV jammer class, just replacing stopping power with UAV jammer. So yeah, guys, that is the XMLAR. I hope you liked this video. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. This is my first kind of modern warfare video. Um, I don't know if you guys like it. Let me know if you do. If you do, I'll make more videos on modern warfare as well. It's always fun to find out what you guys like. Guys, my name is Tommy Boy 601 I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit that subscribe button as well. Guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. See ya.